Hi guys, James here. Welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, I just wanted to sit down and play with some blue eyeshadow. I've never actually done a makeup tutorial using a blue um, eyeshadow palette. So this is the one I'm going to be using. This is Colourpop, the blue moon one. And I've used this before, so it's not a first impressions video. Um, I have done a couple looks with it, so I'll post the photos of that up on the screen now in one of these corners. But yeah, I'm just excited. I just want to sit down and play with some makeup. Nothing too crazy, just an easy look. Um, I'm really excited about this palette because I've never done a blue makeup tutorial, so I'm excited about that. And I just wanted to talk about um, Jeffree Star's Cremated palette, the eyeshadow palette, the grey and black tone one. And also wanted to talk about Manny Emiway's blush palette. It's a six shade blush palette. So I just wanted to talk about those brand new product launches from Jeffree Star and Manny MUA. I do like both of them. I have a lot of Manny MUA stuff and I have a lot of Jeffree Star stuff. Uh, it's just my opinions on the blush palette and the eyeshadow palette from Jeffree Star and Manny MUA. So yeah, it's just an easy makeup tutorial while I talk to you guys about what's happening in my life and just play with some makeup and just relax really. This might be a bit of a long video because I do talk throughout it so I can't really edit all the things that I want to talk about out because then I'm not talking to you about it. Anyway, you know what I mean. So I'm excited about that. If you guys want to know how I created this look using this palette, just keep watching. I'm really excited about it. Also, guys, if you do like the video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all of that type of stuff. Check out my Instagram, guys, as well. I am running a Mystery Star Box giveaway. This is giveaway number five. I do them every couple of months in the Mystery Star Box because I do like doing those. This one has at least five eyeshadow palettes. That's all I'm telling you. They're from different brands and all that type of stuff, but I'm excited about it. So check out my Instagram. The rules are all there in a post um, and it runs till the 20th of June and the reason I let it run for so long is because I keep adding things so that's why I do it for a long time because if I do buy things online I have to wait until it comes in um, but yeah I'm really excited about it it's worth over $350 Australian it's open internationally so check that out guys um, follow the rules one of the rules is to subscribe to my channel so do that while you're here anyway because you're watching the video but yeah i'm excited about that and just keep watching to see how i created this look hi guys so today we are going to be playing with a lot of color pop products i'm going to do a blue look because i haven't done any blue makeup tutorials um so i wanted to use a lot of my ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. So I've got three in particular, and then I've got a couple of Super Shocks. So the ones that I'm gonna be using is this one here. This is the new one. This is the Rainbow ColourPop um, palette. And these are the blue ones that I'm gonna be using. I don't actually know the shade names because they're on the back of each of the shades. I don't wanna have to pick up every single one to get it. So this one here is Tide Pool, which is the same shade as in the Blue Moon palette. Um, but these are the beautiful blues that I'm going to be playing with in that palette. Then I also have the Blue Moon palette from Colourpop as well. That's it there. I have used this one and I've done a couple looks with this one. Um, and I love this palette. So I'm going to be using this one. And then I've got this brand new palette from Colourpop, which is the Mar palette. And it has two blue shades. So this one here is a beautiful sh shimmer shade. And then that's a dark blue matte shade. So I might be jumping into those two shades. And then I've got these two blue um, Super Shock eyeshadows from Colourpop. So this one here is Rest More, and I'll do a quick swatch of it. I haven't actually used this one, but I love their Super Shock shadows. That's one swatch there. Oh, that was a bad swatch. Let's do that better. Oh my God, look how pretty that is. So there's that one there, and then there's this one here, which I love, and I've actually used this one a lot. This is Left on Thread. It's beautiful, like an aqua, beautiful. Oh my God, so pretty. So do a swatch of that there. I mean, wow, you can't go wrong with those two shades. Um, so I'm gonna be playing with all of these uh, shades to create a blue look that I haven't actually done um, a makeup tutorial using just blues. So I'm excited to try that, guys. Um, we'll do a couple more swatches now. Is Tide Pool exactly the same? Okay, so Tide Pool is the same as in the Rainbow Palette and the Blue Moon Palette. So I'll swatch that one, but they're exactly the same, so I need to swatch one of them. I mean, that is so beautiful. That is metallic shade as well. I'll do a swatch one, which is Fine China. And I think, is Fine China in this shade as well? Okay, Fine China is the same shade as in that palette. Um, so basically I didn't need to buy the Blue Moon palette because I've got half the shades in this one. That's a revelation I did not know and I wish I had because I wouldn't have bought that. 
So that's the Fine China Matte Shade. And then I may as well swatch these two from the Mars palette, which is Gridlock, which is the Shimmer Shade, and then Detour is the Matte Blue Shade, which it looks a lot like the um, Fine China Shade. That's the Matte Blue. And then this one here is the Gridlock from the Mars palette. And that one in particular is so beautiful. It's kind of similar to the Super Shock. I don't know if you can see that. So guys, they are basically the blue shades that I'm gonna be working with. Now guys, I do have the Jeffree Star Blue Blood Palette, but I think I will do another makeup tutorial with that later on. I wanted just to stay in the ColourPop family. Um, and I do have enough blue shades to create a full look, I think, um, using all these different palettes. Two of these, this one here, the Mars Palette, and then a couple of these um, shades here are new to me. So they'll be first impressions. I am kind of annoyed that I didn't realize that the Blue Moon and the Rainbow Palette has three of the same shades, which is a little bit annoying. I wish I hadn't realized that, but that was my bad. That wasn't them. But I am really excited to try this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump off camera. I'm going to put my base on, do the foundation, concealer, setting powder, just to save some time in this video. I'll also do my brows, but I'll let you know exactly what products I've used when I come back. So I'll be right back and then we can jump straight into the makeup tutorial. So guys, I am back and I just finished doing my foundation, concealer and setting powder. I also did my brows. So I'll quickly just tell you what I used. For the foundation, I used the Rimmel London Perfect Match Foundation. This is in the shade Ivory. I also use a Rimmel London Lasting Radiance Concealer and this one is in the shade Ivory as well. Um, and then for the brows, I used this MC Co Beauty, MC Co Beauty little brow pencil and it is in the shade Medium Dark. Now guys, this is what it looks like. I don't know if the camera will see it. You can see the fine little prongs on it. So that's what I used to do my brows with. And again, guys, that's in the shade Medium Brown. And then I primed my eyes with the MAC Painterly Pot. And for setting powder, I used the Urban Decay Waterproof Setting Powder. My favorite one, hit the pan, need to get another one. It's always sold out though, I don't know why. Um, and then I baked under the eyes using the Jeffree Star Translucent Setting Powder. Because I find with blues, if there's any fallout, even if you sweep it away, you can always see a hint of blue. Um, and that just looks very gray with the powder. Um, it leaves you looking like you've got gray under eyes and you don't want that. So I really baked and I also baked along my nose a little bit as well in case there's any fallout on the side of the nose as well. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Now I don't really want to do like a crazy crazy look. I just want to play with some colors, have a talk to you guys, talk about makeup and everything like that. Um, so let's get straight into it. So we're going to go straight into this blue moon palette. I'm just going to go into this very pale shade Moonlight. Now this is actually in that rainbow palette from Colourpop. So I thought I'll just use the one that I've already used um, and save that for another one. So this is it there. And I just want to put it above the crease just as my base shade. I would say transition, but I can't really say it properly. I don't want to look stupid on camera, so I just say base. But you know what I mean. So guys, as you can see, there is a lot of pigment. So I'm making sure to tap off my brush just so there's no fallout, but wow, that's so pretty. I'm using a Morphe brush. This is part of the Sweetie collection. It doesn't have like a Morphe M506 code or anything like that, so I can't actually tell you what brush it is. But I got this collection because it was on sale and I didn't think it'd be that good. I kind of got it just for the silicone brush, but I ended up loving this fluffy brush. It is probably the softest Morphe brush I have um, for blending. And yeah, I'm actually really surprised with how much I love it. So I'm glad I got that um, collection. And it was like valued at 85 or $86. And it was half price, normally $44, but I got it for 22. So that's why I got it. And I'm really happy that I did. So I'm just starting to blend that up a little bit and blow it out a little bit. Immediate eye area, I don't want to like swing it out too much. It's just a very simple, quick look. Now guys, while I'm doing this, I just want to talk about Jeffree Star's Cremated palette. So I love the gray and black tones and I've actually done a couple of gray and um, white toned looks, um, which I actually haven't filmed, but I posted on my Instagram. So I'll put photos of that up on screen for you. And I really was excited about this, but the grays in that palette are just not screaming out to me. I really want it to be gray. I don't want it to be a greeny gray or anything like that. I want it to be gray. And I haven't seen any shades that are calling my name in that. Some of the shimmer blacks are good, but I don't want a shimmer black because I just know I wouldn't use a shimmer black. And I've got a couple of like 
blacks that have shimmer in them, even though they're mattes. So I don't think I'd get that palette because even if I do like one shade, I'm not going to pay $52 US, which is almost about $80 Australian for one shade. That's just not going to happen. So I don't think I'll get that palette. Um, some of the glosses look really good. So I might get a couple glosses later on because I do need to get some more of the translucent setting powder. I actually think this is literally the last of that translucent powder. I'm not going to be able to do any baking or anything else using that powder anymore, which is annoying because that is one of my favourite ones. Um, but I don't think I'll get the Cremator palette. It's just not calling my name. I do love Jeffree Star's palette. I've got the Blue Blood, Blood Sugar, Mini Jawbreaker and Jawbreaker. And then I've got a whole lot of these glosses, lipsticks and everything like that. This mirror, obviously. Highlighters, liquid highlighters, everything like that. So I do love Jeffree Star and I've spent a lot of money with him. But I just don't think this palette is the one that I want. All right, guys, so I'm really loving the way this shade is blending out. I'm just going to blend it up a little bit up here. But so far, so good. Also, guys, I don't know if you've noticed, my eyebrows are less bushier. A couple days ago, I did spend an hour in each plucking them and shaping them. And I think they look really good. For someone who shaped them himself for the first time ever. I'm just loving that I've got a bit more room to play with on the eyelid under the brow wow so that's it there i'm really happy with that i don't want to bring it out too much on my nose because i always bring it out and just looks a little sloppy so i'm just trying to keep it tight in there and just blend it out a little bit on the outer corner of the eye but wow i'm so happy with this look now my skin has been breaking out a little bit i've managed to cover a lot of the redness and the rawness on this side of my face i've got some here and then i've actually got a little patch of dryness on this eyelid but that shade is kind of blending out over that dryness which is good because i thought it might be a little patchy but it's actually blending out pretty well so i'm happy about that i'm trying not to blend out too much on it because maybe if i keep playing with it it's gonna get patchy but i'm really happy with the way that's looking so guys i might leave it with that shade and i might go in with a deeper shade and i'll switch to a morphe m506 brush my favorite brush from morphe and guys, with that brush, I might actually go into that shade Fine China. I did swatch it before at the start of this video. And that shade is a very blue, bright, matte shade. I'm just going to put it in the crease. Oh, there's a lot of... Tap that brush off because there's a lot of product in there. And this is one of those shades that will definitely stain the skin. So don't want fallout with this shade. I'm just going to blend it into the crease and just deepen it up a little bit. So guys, while I do this, I'm just going to talk about Many Emiway's new um, blush palette. I really wanted it. And he was going to launch it in March, and I would have bought it in March when I had the money or the extra income. But because of not having a job right now and being stood down from work for at least another four weeks, um, not getting the money that I would normally make. So I'm going to get that later on. Um, but it sold out so quickly because his eyeshadow formula is so good. I'm expecting the blush to be amazing and I can't wait for people to do a lot of makeup tutorials using that blush palette because I want to see what they think of it as well but that retails at 35 US and that collection also comes with three glosses which look amazing too his glosses I've got a couple from my um, mystery box from Luna Beauty he did last year and I love that formula the best lip gloss formula in my opinion so far that I've found so I'm excited to actually get all of that later on I treat myself later on when I go back to work and, you know, get some more money and all that type of stuff. But I also have to wait until he restocks it because it sold out so quickly. I mean, it sold out in Sephora. Sephora was going to put it on sale a week later, but because it sold out in many MUA's site, they actually put it on sale the same day because they're like, well, let's get into this. And they sold out as well. So everything is sold out. So I'm really, really happy that that happened for him, which is good. I know he's had a lot of drama and a lot of people don't support many MUA. But his formula and his products are amazing. Like, you can't deny they are great. And I actually love watching him. I watch all his videos and I actually really like him. Um, so, guys, that will be one of the new makeup products that I will buy when I get a chance to. And once it's restocked, so that will take a couple months anyway. So, we've got time for that. All right, guys, so I'm really happy with the way that looks right now. I'm just going to pop off camera, blend it out just to save some time because this video is a little bit long, and I will be right back. All right, guys, so I'm back, and I actually decided to do the other eye off camera just to save some time. I also did a cut crease using my MAC Painterly Pot. I wasn't going to do a cut crease, but I just thought, 
Let's do a cut crease because I want to do this super shock eyeshadow on top of that cut crease. I want to do a defined line with it and then I want to use this other super shock eyeshadow on the outer corner of the eye just to give it some dimension. Um, so this is again the shade Rest More and this is the shade Left on the Thread. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it with my finger and then I'm going to use this silicone brush from Morphe to really define the edges because I do want it to be a defined line. So let's go in with the shade Left on the Thread. Put a little bit of my finger. I don't want it too much. I don't want it to be chunky. I just want to put it on there. And again, look at that pigment. It's so, so pretty. I mean, wow. So pretty. I mean, that is beautiful. Ooh, so pretty. So I'm just putting it in that middle of the cut crease. Then I'm gonna use the silicone brush to really get in the edges. But I just wanna fill it in using my finger. Wow, I love this shade so much. So now I'm gonna go in with this a silicone brush and I've never actually used a silicone brush with a super shock eyeshadow. So we'll see what it looks like. Okay, it does work like a finger. You just have to dip it in a few more times than normal because, you know, it doesn't carry too much product. But it's there. So pretty. So guys, I'm really happy with the way that looks. I'm gonna go off camera and do the other eye. I'll be right back. All right guys, so I'm back and I just finished doing the other eye. And guys, when I look in the mirror, because my eyes are so hooded, I've had to go up really high with a cut crease and it's lost a lot of that um, shade tide pool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M506. I'm just gonna tap into tide pool, tap off the excess, and I will just sharpen up that tide pool shade and darken it up a little bit, just because I don't want to lose it all. I spent so much time putting it there and blending it out, I don't want to lose it. So I'm just going to quickly do that. It's going to be very light, not too much, and it might cause me to blend in some of that um, Super Shock eyeshadow shade doing this, but that's all right. I just want to, I want to keep that shade type all there. Like, if you can spend 20 minutes blending it out and applying it without having any fallout on your cheek. You don't want to just lose it all. So just, just very, very softly. Like I'm not tapping into type all much. Very, oh, that's a lot of people. Tap that off a little bit more. I know that um, tapping will be very annoying on the camera, but it is a necessary step. Okay, so I'm happy that I've actually darkened up and you can see it a bit more. Okay, so I'm back and I've just blended that as much as I can and I actually like the way it looks. I love the actual Super Shock eyeshadow. Pigment, amazing. Now I'm going to go into this Super Shock eyeshadow, which is, again, the shade Rest More. Ooh, pretty. Now I'm going to go in with my little chubby little fingers and I'm just tapping it on. I don't want glitter all over my face because I just don't want it to look like Tinkerbell has just shat all over my face with glitter. I'm just tapping it on. Oh my God, that is beautiful. I don't know if the cameras are picking it up. It's, it's so beautiful. Now guys, this shade is similar to that shade Fine China, the dark matte shade, but this is the beautiful glitter version of that. And oh my God, it's blending out with this other super shot eyeshadow. Oh, a dream. Okay, so I don't want to go too much in it, but I'll blend it out a little bit. Super shock. Oh my god, that's so pretty. So I'll just do the other eye. Guys, I'm really happy with that shade and love the way that looks. I'm going to go off camera now, sweep that bake away. I'm actually going to do the bottom lash line off camera. And I'm just going to go into the same shade Moonlight and Fine China on the bottom lash line. And I'll also put my lashes and lip on and then I'll be right back to do bronzer, highlighter and blush. And then guys, we can talk about all these palettes and all the shades and what I really think of them. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I'm back and I've just finished doing the bottom lash line and then I also put some lashes on. Now the two shades again I used were the Moonlight and Fine China. And then I also used a liner in my waterline. This is the NYX one. And this one is in the shade. Oh, 
All right, I don't know what the shade is for this one, but it's a beautiful aqua one. I'll do a quick swatch of it on the back of my hand. It's just a very beautiful aqua type shade. I love that shade. It's a cream gel um, liner, so I really love these ones. So I just want to add that into the waterline. I haven't actually done my lips or blush or bronzer and highlighter. So let's do that. Guys, for bronzer, I actually have two brand new ones from Colourpop. This was part of the Going Coconuts collection. So the two shades are Coconut Beach and Talk to the Palm. Now I like Talk to the Palm because it's a bit darker. This one here, Coconut Beach, is actually quite light. Um, it's darker on camera, but it in person is quite light. So I like the Talk to the Palm one, which is a little darker. And guys, in this bronze, I have actually noticed that there was a bit of kick up. So every time I tap it in very, very softly, there is a lot of kick up in the pan. So I just wanted to mention that just so you guys know. So guys, I'll just put it on in the temples with this brush. And I just kind of tap it in and then I blend it out a little bit. So guys, you can actually see it there. And it is very easy to blend out. Oh, my hair. I need to get a haircut, guys. Oh, this quarantine is killing my hair. And guys, I do love this bronzer because it is very mattifying, but it is very easy to build up to the colour you want. So if you want to go light, you just go lighter. If you want to build it up, you can. So I'll just go around the neck. So now the nose, let's get that snatched. All right guys, so bronzer is done. Now I'm just gonna go in with my Morphe blush. I love this shade hot, this is my go-to. So I'm just gonna go in with my e.l.f. blush brush. I'm just going to tap that in very lightly, tap it off a bit, and then just go very softly onto the cheeks. And guys, I'm just tapping it onto the skin, and then I'm going to diffuse it with the edges of this brush a little bit. Just to match it up pigment-wise. Now, I do have a dry spot on my skin right here as well. This blush is kind of showing that texture, and that's just always going to happen. It's just the way my skin is. I've had quite a bit of breakout lately. I don't know if it's a moisturizer or what it is, but it just is. I'm drinking lots of water. It's not that I drink two to three liters of water every day, but but my skin is very dry right now. And I don't know why, because I moisturize twice a day, morning and night. I just don't know why it's um, drying out right now. But I'm really happy with that blush. I love the pigment of that. It's my go-to blush. I think it's $18 normally. It comes with seven different shades. This one is a shimmer finish, this is a matte, and this is a matte as well. So you've got visionary, hot, and edgy, and yeah, I love these ones. Very, very good, and you get a lot of product for your back. All right, guys, so it's highlighter time. I don't actually have any ColourPop highlighters, so I'm just going to use this Jeffree Star Brain Freezer palette, and I really love Gold Breaker. That's my go-to in this palette, but I also love Freeze Tag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use freeze tag on my brow bone, and then I'm gonna use the gold breaker on my cheeks and my nose. So guys, now I'm just gonna go into the shade freeze tag. This is gonna go on my brow bone. I'm gonna use this little sweetie brush. It's, it's the same brush I've been using to blend out my eyeshadow um, in this look. So I'm just gonna tap it in and apply it very softly there. I mean, it's beautiful. You can see that highlighter right there. So I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit, but you don't need any more than that. I'm not gonna go back into that pan for this eye. Blend it out a little bit so you can see that there and then I'm going to go in and do the same thing on this brow bone And just add a little bit. Oh my god, that's so so pretty Try not to mess up my brows I mean wow Wow, you can see that and now I'm going to use a bigger brush from the same collection and I'm going to go into the shade gold breaker I'm just going to tap it on so I'm just gonna go in with that shade and I'm just gonna apply it very lightly on my cheeks. I don't want too much. I'm just gonna tap it on and then I'm going to brush it on if I need to and diffuse it a little bit. But there it is, I mean, wow. And I love this highlighter, guys, because you don't need much at all. I mean, look at it, it's, it's there, blinding. And go straight back into that pan, tap it off and then just bring it up and diffuse it a little bit. So, so pretty. I always make weird faces when I apply highlighter. I apologize. I just do. Wow, I mean, that's so pretty. Just 
a little bit on the forehead here. Oh, that's a little bit too much, but that's all right. Blend that out. So pretty. So, so pretty. All right, so cheeks are done. Now I'm just going to go along the bridge of my nose very, very quickly. I mean, wow, you don't need much. A little bit, not too much. But, I mean, wow, it's so pretty. Mmm, yes, queen. And now the Cupid's bow. All right, guys, so that is highlighter done, and I absolutely love that highlighter. I mean, you can just see it all over my face. I love that palette so much. Now, I'm just going to go off camera, do my lips, and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so I'm back, and I just finished applying the lipstick. Now, the lip products I used was this Morphe liner. This is in the shade Backseat Love. I love this lip liner. It is a beautiful nude one. It's just almost an orangey nude. I love it. There it is there. And then for the lipstick, I used this shade Wifey. It is a cream matte lipstick. So it's not completely dried down, but it's there. It's just a beautiful, beautiful shade. I love it. It's my go-to nude lipstick from Morphe. And then guys, for lip gloss, I use the Kimchi Chic Lip Gloss in the shade Pink Shimmer. It's just a beautiful, beautiful shimmer pink. I love that one. All right, guys, so we're almost finished. I'm just going to apply the Morphe Setting Spray. This one is the Illuminating Setting Spray. This is one of my new ones, and I love it. I'm just going to apply it very quickly. Oh, I love it. And the smell is amazing. Then I'm going to use my kimchi fan just to dry it off very quickly. All right, guys, so that is setting spray done and that is the final look complete. Now, let's quickly talk about all the eyeshadow products. Super Shock eyeshadows. They are my favorite ColourPop items. I love them so much. As you can see, pigment is amazing with them. They just go on so easily, so easy to work with. And they are worth the money. Um, I love them so much. If you're going to buy something from ColourPop, Spend a little bit of extra money and pick up some of those Super Shock eyeshadows. I just recommend them to everybody. They're amazing. Now, Blue Moon palette from ColourPop. I love this palette. Again, there is a lot more fallout than I have ever experienced in any of my ColourPop eyeshadows. This one here, just there's just so much kick up. And I'm dabbing into it very, very lightly just because I never want any fallout on my skin. Um, but this one, there's a lot of fallout. But this palette is amazing. The matte shades are so pigmented and so easy to blend with. The shimmers are amazing as well, even though I haven't used any shimmers from this palette. I've used them in other looks before. But now that I look at it, I might actually use one of the shimmer shades. So this is the white one here. I'm going to use a little sweetie Morphe brush. Spray that with a little bit of setting spray. And I just want to put this in the inner corner of my eye. Just to add a little bit of something. Wow, that's so pretty, guys. I mean, whoa. That is so pigmented. so happy with that just dab it in a little bit more there so that shimmer is amazing and i've actually used that shimmer in the inner corner of my eye before and i just remembered looking at it now i mean that shimmer is amazing and that just shows you how good the shimmers are in this palette i love this palette it's one of my favorite palettes i love blue even though red is my favorite color blue is probably second it's just just so pigmented so i'm really happy with this look using this palette i didn't actually get into this mar palette because i really wanted to but i will just do a first impressions test with that later because those two shades are amazing and i think i can do amazing things with this dark matte shade as well um yeah so i'm really excited to try that later on guys i didn't actually play with this palette because i didn't realize all the blue shades are exactly the same shades as what's in the um blue moon palette so I've just got some extras, but I am happy that I've got that. It just means that I've got doubles of everything now. So it's not the worst thing in the world. So guys, that is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I just wanted to play with some makeup. I have tried this Blue Moon palette before, but I just wanted to do a makeup tutorial using blue tones because I haven't actually done that before. Um, but yeah, I really love this look. It's so pretty. I'm really excited about more ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. This one here is probably the next video I'm going to do. I also have a couple brand new eyeshadow palettes that I'm excited to try as well. So those videos will be in the future and I'm excited about that. And in this video, I just wanted to play with some makeup and talk to you about some of the new makeup that's just come out. Jeffree Star and Manny MUA. 
and I just wanted to give you my thoughts on those. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, give the notification bell as well. Let's check out my Instagram. The link for that will be down below. I actually have a giveaway I'm running right now. I do mystery style box giveaways every couple months. Um, this one has a value of $350. There are at least five eyeshadow palettes in it. I'm always adding more things to it. So check out the rules for that, guys. I think it finishes on the 20th of June. That is running through my Instagram. Um, one of the rules is to subscribe to my channel. So do that and then go to my Instagram and follow the other rules. It's very simple. You just have to tag five people. Mention what country you're from. Also share the um, post on your stories. And that's basically it. So check that out. I'm really excited about that. And I will be doing more giveaways in the future. I've actually got a couple of items already for the next giveaway. As I'm really excited about all the makeup tutorials that I've got coming in the future. Because... I have a lot of makeup that I haven't actually done makeup tutorials with. I've got a lot of free time. I think I've still got another three or four weeks until I can go back to work. Um, till then, I'm just going to be playing with makeup. Again, guys, thank you for all your support. I really appreciate it. If you've got any questions on any of the items that you've seen me use in this makeup tutorial, leave a comment down below. Also, leave a comment down below if you own this palette and what you think of this palette as well. All right, guys, till next time, stay safe. All my love. Bye.